फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी शेल टॉक अबाउट वी रेट्रम एल्बम द पर्पस ऑफ नॉलेज शेयर्ड हियर इज ओनली एजुकेशनल एंड टू इंक्रीज अवेयरनेस प्लीज ऑलवेज कंसल्ट योर फैमिली डॉक्टर बिफोर यूजिंग एनी मेडिसिन सेल्फ ट्रीटमेंट मे ऑलवेज बी इंजूरियस कंडीशंस टेंडिंग टू कोलैप्स एज इन डायरिया इन कफ डिसमेनोरिया कार्डियक वीकनेस सो एग्जास्टिंग द पेशेंट दैट द बॉडी बिकम्स कोल्ड एंड द फोर एड हेड इज कवर्ड विद कोल्ड स्वेट एक्सट्रीम वीकनेस टू वीक टू होल्ड द हेड अप एक्सट्रीम कोल्डनेस ऑफ द बॉडी cold sweat on the forehead intermittent fever with external coldness and much thirst violent tonic spasms the soles of the feet and the palms of the hand are contracted the stiffness of the limbs especially in the forenoon and after walking rheumatism aggravated by the heat of the bed and cold damp weather relieved from rising and walking the symptoms of debility are especially aggravated by motion cold bluish skin dry itch cardiac debility with very weak pulse any exertion brings on irregular action of the heart and thready pulse the face is flushed when lying and on rising suddenly it becomes very pale with cold sweat faintness etc it smell before the nose as the manner or from a smoke nose inside feels too dry deaf as if ears were stopped one or both cough worse in a warm room eating or drinking cold water from crying violent fits of coughing followed by irritation of gas the cough seems to start from the abdomen which has to be held when coughing worse in warm room bronchitis especially of old people rattling of mucus with inability to expectorate great prostration cold sweat catamenia too early and too profuse are suppressed dysmenorrhea with vomiting abdominal weakness sexual mania precedes the menses chronic constipation evacuations black hard large with faintness cold sweat etc diarrhea worse at night by drinking after food associated with terrible colic cold sweat on the forehead feeble pulse stools very profuse watery followed by great emptiness and weakness in the abdomen the evacuations are often accompanied by violent vomiting taste in the mouth is like peppermint thirst for cold water but is vomited as soon as swallowed averse to warm food hiccough copious vomiting and nausea aggravated by drinking and least motion craves fruit juicy and cold things ice salt terrible attack of colic the pain begins in the stomach radiates upward to the shoulders and then involves the whole abdomen associated with rushing vomiting purging coldness cold sweat etc 
the whole abdomen is usually swollen and very sensitive most violent retching and vomiting of food are of whatever is taken into the stomach the ejecta are always very profuse and the vomiting is attended with cold sweat great prostration burning in the stomach and great sensitivity to touch headache violent pains driving him to despair or great prostration with headache fainting with cold sweat and great thirst nausea vomiting and diarrhea or obstinate constipation pale face stiff neck profuse micturition headache chronic coming on in afternoon lasting through night better towards morning frequent micturition constipation from inactivity of rectum with heat and headache constipation of babies and when produced by very cold weather stools large with much straining until exhausted with cold sweat head hot and covered with sweat headache children rub the head can not bear to be left alone put hands to head faints from least exertion from slight wounds from violent pains after loss of fluids anxiety nausea convulsive twitchings vertigo with cold sweat on forehead with loss of vision sudden fainting from opium eating from abuse of tobacco or alcohol try dyspepsia from chewing tobacco without vomiting or diarrhea consequences of injured pride or honor despair about his position in society feels very unlucky anxiety as after committing an evil deed worse evening and after dinner can not bear to be left alone talks much about religious things praying desire to cut and tear especially clothes with lewdness and lascivious talk thinks himself distinguished squanders his money is stupid from excess in alcoholic drinks worse from wet cold weather homeopathy safer and superior medicine a good line guideline to remember is homeopathy as the general rule allopathy as a last resort please subscribe to the channel like and share the video and press the bell icon thanks